on the charging uh, of David Vanstra. Uh, David uh, Vanstra murdered in 1975 an eight-year-old girl named Gretchen Harrington. Uh, David Vanstra is, ladies and gentlemen, a monster. He is every parent's worst nightmare. This is a man who is a remorseless child predator who acted as if he was a friend, a neighbor, and a man of God. And he killed this poor little girl. The story is in the criminal complaint, but let me just fill you in on how this all went down. Uh, in 1975, in August of 1975, Gretchen Harrington uh, was an eight-year-old girl. She had been attending Bible camp uh, at two different churches all during the course of that summer. One is at Trinity Chapel in Orange Road in Broomall. The second is her father's church, the Reformed Presbyterian Church. David Zanstra was the reverend at the first church, the Tr Trinity Chapel. He is a family friend of the Harrington's family because Gretchen's father was the reverend at the second church. And the way Bible camp was running that summer is they would start first at Trinity Chapel Church at about 9.30 in the morning, uh, and then they would move over getting rides over to the second church, the Reformed Presbyterian Church, sometime around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, Gretchen Harrington on August 15th decided to go to Bible camp. Um, her family had just had a new baby. Uh, she usually walked to the first uh, Trinity Chapel camp with her sisters, but this morning she didn't. Uh, they didn't go to camp with her because of the new baby at home. But her father and her family encouraged her because she had had perfect attendance at these Bible camps uh, to, to go by herself. And that ended up being, as we can know, a fateful decision. Uh, this happened in a matter of minutes. This poor young girl who lived on Lawrence Road, 27 Lawrence Road in Broomall, started walking towards the Trinity Chapel. Uh, she was met in a car uh, by David Zanstra who she knew because he was the reverend at the Bible camp she was going to, and she is the father of one of her best friends. So when he offered her a ride in his car, of course she got in the car. According to David Vancher's own statement that he gave to our friends at the state police, he got her in the car, drove her to a secured location, asked her to take off her clothes. She refused. He then ejaculated in front of her and beat her to death with his hands. He then disposed of her body, went back to the Trinity Chapel Church, and tried to act like nothing had happened. In fact, he worked with his wife when Mr. Harrington called to find out what happened to his daughter to report this to police. 